make or break your project. Whether you're using prefab components or traditional stick framing, understanding how to create a detailed material list is crucial for success. Stay with me till the end and I will share some tips how to not mess up your project. By the way, I'm Vlada, I'm framing detailer at New Vision Agency and I've been working on wood and steel framing on more than 40 projects. A rake-off is just a fancy way of saying the list of materials you'll need for your framing job. It tells you the quantities of wood, sizes, lengths and types required, so you know exactly what to order. Depending on how detailed you go, the takeoff can vary from basic summaries to ticketed breakdowns for every piece of wood. A takeoff is essential for planning, budgeting and efficient material use in construction. And here is the question, why it matters? It helps you to ensure you order the right amount of lumber, avoiding shortages or excess. Also, you have the better cost control with takeoff. You keep your project within budget by preventing overordering. The biggest advantage, if you are doing your project in BIM, the takeoff is really easy to create just by calculating the Revit model in schedules. It's the backbone of smart construction management, saving time, money and headache along the way. When it comes to ordering wood, you got two main options – prefab and stick framing. With prefab orders, everything show up pre-cut and pre-assembled ready to go. It's great for things like wall panels, trusses or modular sections. The catch? You need to have your framing model fully detailed before production starts. But the upside is that it will save you a lot of time on site, since the most of the work is already done. Now, with stick framing, you're getting raw lumber list delivered, and your crew will cut and assemble everything on site. This gives you more flexibility to make adjustments along the way, but it also means you need a solid takeoff list. Without it, you could end up with too much waste, or worse, run out of material when you need it most. A summary takeoff is a high-level overview of the materials required for a construction project, providing a list of total quantities for each type of material without getting into details. This approach only breaks down the total quantity of wood by type and size, like Douglas fir number 2, 2 by 4s, Douglas fir number 1, 2 by 6, etc. Here we have the total lengths of each wood type in linear feet and divided by typical lengths of stud. Typically, it's 12 or 16 feet. In our jobs, we include 10% ways to have some reserve of wood in case if there was not so detailed beam model or wood breaking or any other experience. You know, it's construction, everything can happen. Also, our approach was to calculate separately the exact lengths of regular wall stats. Typically, they are not standard and there are lots of them the same height. So this allows the customer order, let's say, 2000 pieces with non-standard lengths and reduced waste where it can be reduced. This type is great for stick framing project where you can adjust framing on site. However, you will need to do more manual sorting once the wood arrives, so it's not ideal for large-scale prefab work. A quantity takeoff gives you more detailed list, divided materials by specific elements such as wall studs, headers, wood posts, etc. It includes individual lengths and counts for each framing member. As a result, you will have the list of elements that are divided by their function and exact lengths. For example, you will know the lengths of all top and bottom plates, exact lengths of headers, trimmers and cripples, and quantity of needed blocking. Such a material list really reduces the waste, and it can be really flexible. You can saw the exact lengths of each piece, or you can summarize all the blocking to not cut million short pieces that you might not be able to use in the field. But still, you already know which exact materials are used for regular stud and which for trimmers and anything else. This allows you to not cut everything on site, but just put the right stud to the right spot. This method is perfect for projects that use a mix of prefab and stick framing, offering enough detail to control material usage, but without going overboard. Assembly or itemized takeoff. This is the holy grail of takeoffs. For example, you get ticketed breakdowns for every piece of wood, sorted by assembly, location and task. Every stud, joist and block has a piece on the list and nothing is left to change. This is ideal for prefab penalization, since it aligns exactly with manufacturing schedules. But keep in mind, more detail, more time spent modeling in Revit. 
With such a type of lumber list, we are including all industrial tolerances to have everything fit perfectly together in the panel. The stud should be one quarter inch shorter and blocking should be one eighth inch shorter to fit between studs. It is all important when we are doing prefabricated panels. The panel actually cannot be built differently than it was modeled in the Revit. The stud location is even printed on the seal plate. The whole process of such a detailization we create the lumber list divided by panels with all stud marked by their purpose and then it's going to the lumber yard. In our project we are also thinking how the panels will be transported. The material list is divided by bundles so that we know exactly how many studs will be in one bundle. When all the wood is cut is going to the factory and the panels are assembling without any cutting or adjustment. In this case we have all the panels done and they just need to be delivered to the construction field and just placed here. I'm going to share with you some modeling tip that will allow you to create the accurate takeoff. But first, you need to hit that like button below this video and subscribe to our channel. Set your Revit families correctly. Name each framing type and size to not adjust and filter them later. If you have all the elements already named how they should be and not mix them, you will be able to just export the Revit schedule and that's it, you have correct lumber list. Watch out for overlaps. Duplicate members can mess up the quantities, but it's so easy to not notice this in modeling process. So use clash detection tools. I'm usually doing it in Navis works. Group elements separately by walls, floors and ceilings. It will help you to organize your lists and avoid mix-ups. Usually we have different work sets for this. If you are doing prefab, double-check assembly models. Even small errors can cause production issues. Actually, takeoff schedule is one of the best QAQC methods. I always see all of the mistakes when I have strange lengths of start and schedule or mix it up work sets. That's a wrap for today. I hope this video gave you some insight into different takeoff methods. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, share with your fellow builders and don't forget to watch our next video for more tricks and tips. See you in the next one.